squeezes the same! Nutrition. How are we going to do it when you've got an employee? We'll have to go side on. Shh! Do you know what we're talking about? <laughs> Losing a pound a week. Losing a pound a week? Is the worst thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a, a common kind of thread is weight loss is never going to be linear. So people will drop kind of six, seven pounds in the first week of us. Then the second week, a couple of pounds. And then they might have one week where they don't lose a pound and then that's it. Buy <laughs> rubbish. You've, yeah. all, you've already dropped nine pounds in yeah. three weeks. Six pounds? Yeah, two pounds, no. Plan does, plan does not work, it only works for the first week. So, what is the solution here? Cut your calories, do some more exercise. No, it's just chill out. Chill out, <laughs> keep it consistent. Look at the month as a whole as opposed to each week. You're not going to drop six pounds every single week. You're not going to drop a pound a week. No. You know, there's going to be weeks where you don't lose anything. So, you know, you're not going to lose a pound a week every week forever. Or even for a year. Or probably not even Because there's just month. nothing left. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so we had one of like, I've lost an inch from my stomach and I don't know what I've done wrong. In a week. I don't know where I went wrong. Like, are you, when was the last time you lost an inch from your stomach? Yeah, in a week. Yeah. So you just need to kind of keep that in mind when you're, you're gauging your progress that there's probably someone who's lost more. There might be someone who's leaner than you and lost more, but it's just the way it, it is. Doesn't, <laughs> yeah, it doesn't affect you. So what other people do does not affect you. It's, it's your goal. It's your nutrition. Everybody's completely different. You can't expect to get the same results as someone else. Yeah, so you just need to form a better term, wind your neck in sometimes. <laughs> Pull up your socks and crack on. Yeah, yeah, don't do that thing where all of a sudden somebody's been giving you fantastic results, but then one week it doesn't. So you go, well, this doesn't work. Fuck it, that's it. Where are the Krispy Kremes? <laughs> and there's so many reasons why it could have plateaued. You know, if you look at a pound of weight is about a pint of water. So if you, for some reason you've consumed an extra pint of water, or you're, you know, for whatever reason you're holding more of that, it could be anything, it could be hormonal, it could be because the first time you weigh yourself you're more dehydrated, that doesn't mean you've gotten fatter. You know, people often say, if I get the scales and they've not gone down, then I'll, then you'll what? Then I'll just, if not this plan has been working, yeah, yeah, and then I'll just do my own thing because that's worked so far. Yeah, so you just have to look and think, if your weight has gone up, what's the most likely scenario? Yeah, it's probably you gained three pounds over a weekend. Yeah, or a day, you know, so I've put a pound since yesterday. Well, did you have a birthday cake? If so, then it's your own fault. If not, which is unlikely, then, you know, it's it's just natural fluctuations. And why are you weighing yourself every single day? What are you expecting to see? Yeah, you look at what you're doing, look at the food that you're eating, track your food. If it's healthy, you know, and you're not progressing, then you're eating too much, then you need to track your calories more. Yeah, more precisely. Yeah, if you weigh something down, then it could be some kind of acute reaction to something you've eaten, somewhere that's kind of dairy or carbs or you know just something that your body doesn't like, and you just hold a bit of water. So that's why you know, don't just think I've not lost weight this week. I'm gonna massively smash everything. Just keep it clean. Give it another week. See where we're at, and then then adjust from there. But don't all of a sudden just go. That's it. I mean, I'm not having. I'm not fat for me. Five hundred calories a day. Yeah, <laughs> I'm eating a leaf and I'm gonna sniff some water. Yeah, not gonna. Help. No. So that's it. Just chill out. Look at it as a, a bigger picture. So look at the kind of the month as a whole as opposed to just each individual week. Um, see where you're at. So if you, like say, if you uh, lose six pounds, three pounds, no pounds and three pounds, that's still a good month. <laughs> you know, that's 12 pound month. Mm, quick maths. Well, no, that's a <laughs> fact track of my you know, What did I say again? Um, <laughs> Abacus. So yeah, so that's that's actually even it out. Like I said, not every single week's going to be a drop, but then you might have a, a sudden drop. And sometimes, like I say, you just have to grin and bear it a little bit and just crack on, but just completely deviate from the plan or giving up a plan that's worked <laughs> so far. It just doesn't make any sense. Good. Yeah, that's, that's us. Good.